They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Cause you're a royal, you're rebel, you're more than one together. However you go, ever and ever after high. Uh, the path of love is never straight. Well, it was until people started choosing their own stories. Uh, you must admit, this is much more interesting. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Hey, Ashlyn! What's up with the urgent text message? Is every- Shh! <gasps> Sorry, Cedar, but I need help. We need help. Uh, Hunter? Shh, I'm not Hunter. I'm a Gunter. Gunter Gunsman. Is this about your guy's secret relationship? Shh, yes, it is about that. Duchess knows, and she's gonna spell it out for the whole school. We don't know what to do. Well, I always find it's best to tell the truth. You're right, Cedar. Gunter Gunsman. I got a triple mint hocus latte for Gunter Gunsman. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> C.A. Cupid. Ah, I'm Cupid. That's me. Ah, just sign here. Party what? supplies? Uh, yes. Party supplies. Um, for our play. And what exactly is the name of this play? It's, uh... uh It's called The Play That Almost Was, and then wasn't, but then was. Mm. Very well. <gasps> I don't know, Duchess. It is a bomb spell, but Ash and Hunter are my friends. If you don't report on it, someone else will. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Ashlyn, <gasps> you and Hunter are, are dating? But, but, but you're a royal, and he's a rebel. Totally awkward, oh. A royal dating a rebel? That's just not how the tale is told. She followed her true heart, which is kind of what True Heart's Day is all about. So, fellow fairy tales, Blondie Locks here to give you reaction to the royally rebellious romance. I think it's excellent. <laughs> Ashlyn and Hunter decided to rewrite their destinies. What's wrong with that? Oh! <gasps> I feel for them. I mean, keeping secrets is hard. <laughs> a royal and a rebel? <laughs> They're from two different worlds. <laughs> I am trying to do an interview here. I'm worried about Ashlyn and Hunter. If they don't follow their destinies, their books could close forever. Remember our quiz tomorrow on tiara size and future neck problems? Apple, we have to talk. Ash, this is hard for me, which is a first because I usually handle everything so very well. I know. I'm just so surprised you didn't trust me enough to tell me. I didn't think you'd understand. I guess I don't. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't want to see anything bad happen to someone I care so much about. And so you're telling me all these heart-shaped cakes are for your play. Yep. For the play. You know it. They're there for that really funny scene where uh, Briar throws them at Hopper. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. It's such a funny scene. I just wind up and... <laughs> Very well. Duchess, 
What do you want? What do I want? My own happily ever after, of course. And now that everyone knows that you're dating a rebel, it looks like there's one available. No glass slipper for you. <laughs> so you're happy about Hunter and I dating while my best friends aren't? Maybe I did make a mistake. What? No! You're totally doing the right thing. Follow your heart and all that sappy stuff. Sorry, I'm saving this for Ashlyn. Hey, Ashlyn! Ahem. <clears throat> Hunter, we need to talk. Uh, Ashlyn? I just... I thought this would be a good thing, showing everyone we were dating. I thought it would take the pressure off, but now... everything is worse. What are you saying? My friends are upset. I don't know what's going to happen to our stories. Yeah, but... Hunter, I don't want anything bad to happen to us. To you. I think... I think we should break up. Maddie, since my destiny is now mine to write, I'm gonna sign up for a class I never would have taken before. Princessology! What? I mean, I am a princess, technically. You can't take princessology. It's not right. I mean, how would you feel if I signed up for your favorite class? Home Evilnomics! <laughs> Ms. White! Take a seat. I was just giving out our first assignment. I'd like each of you to go into the enchanted forest. Find an animal. That'll be easy, Madam Yaga. Animals love me. And turn it evil. Oh. <laughs> what exactly about this animal is supposed to be evil? Well, it's eating that carrot awfully fast. Which will give it a really evil tummy ache. Try again. I'm so mean. Cower before my meanness. That's just a mask you made with a picture of me. I will give you one last chance to turn that animal evil. <laughs> or else you'll fail. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever am I going to do? I have to turn you evil, her raven. <gasps> yes! Just casting a really evil spell here. Pretty evil, huh? 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 Fine, you pass. With a D. Minus, minus. Yay! Well, Raven, I passed my first Home Evil Nomics project. How's Princessology going? Oh, I dropped that class like 15 minutes in. I couldn't take all the smiling practice. Made my cheeks hurt. But that's not fair. Now we have to grow evil plans for class, and mine just keeps... <laughs> oh, keep your petals on! <laughs> hey, this salad totally reminds me. We're having a sale at the Glass Slipper. How does salad remind you of... You're cute. So who wants to go shopping after school? Sure, I'm in. Oh, I can't, because I entered the Royals beauty pageant, but I didn't want to tell you guys because I thought you'd think it's silly, but I love celebrating being awesome, empowered girls. Oh, it's not silly, Cedar. I say go for it. Bigger smile, Ms. White. Bigger, Ms. Beauty. Cheshire big, Ms. Wood. My cheeks are hurting. Beauty is not always pretty. Oh, these shoes are so uncomfortable. How are we supposed to walk in them? Huh? Whoa! Gracefully, my dear. For the debate portion of the pageant, the topic will be, why is looking good more important than, well, anything? Well, now, wait just a splinter. I thought this pageant was about what it means to be a beautiful girl. Not painful shoes. Not silly smiles. Real stuff, like being smart and graceful and... Oh! And, and the beauty inside of us. She's right. Apple, I'm... Well, I'm sorry for what I said at the rehearsal. Why? You told the truth. 
you made me realize the pageant doesn't celebrate what being beautiful is really all about. So what can we do? We reinvent the contest. You mean like change the debate? Make it about being awesome, empowered girls? Isn't that where real beauty comes from? True beauty means living every day at our best and never forgetting that each of us is special in our own enchanting way. That was beautiful. Does our judge have a winner? I've thought long and hard, and I choose me. <laughs> Love triangles at Ever After High can get... Awkward. Yes, awkward. Raven, your lap partner for this week's assignment is Sparrow. Uh, Sweet. You can do all the work while I rock and roll! Excellent. And Cupid, you are with Dexter. Yes! I mean, because uh, you're so smart. You know, Dexter, he's so smart. That's what they say. <laughs> to do. Hey, Cupid. What's wicked? There's something really important I want to tell you uh, about Dexter. What in the kingdom? Oh, it's nothing bad. Briar, what happened? I tried dragon riding. <laughs> Good thing I was wearing my parachute. It's just I want to switch lab partners because <sighs> Dexter has a crush on you. Hey, Cupid. This won't take long. I just called Raven and told her that you... Oh, no! No, it's okay. She's really happy about it. That was a close one. You and Raven are gonna be great together. I know it in my heart. Hey, Cupid, Cupid. what Sorry are you about trying yesterday. to tell me? I'm so happy we worked everything out. Now you'd better get to work. <laughs> that potion isn't gonna brew itself. <laughs> Cupid, awesome. You can mix me up a love potion. Oh, love. And so it looks like this love triangle isn't ending anytime soon. I'm guessing not forever after. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different ending. Sometimes you gotta find it on your own. It's an open book, a road in reverse, a brand new hook. Forget that.